Welcome to Linux Help Tutorial. I am going to explain about how to install eGroupware in Ubuntu. eGroupware is a free and open source groupware software which is used for businesses from small to enterprise levels. The eGroupware's primary function is to allow the users to manage contacts, appointments, projects and to-do lists. The eGroup software runs on a Ubuntu based system which requires the web server, database server, a mail server, etc. Now we can see the installation of eGroupware in Ubuntu. Before installing the eGroupware, you need to have the LAMP server installed in your system. After installing the LAMP server, you can continue your eGroup installation. First, you need to install some PHP modules. Here are the PHP modules that you need to install a PHP PO and PHP 5 GD, IMAP, MySQL, and LTAP. Now give enter. Now give us to download and install the packages. This will take some time. Now the PHP modules are installed. Next, you need to enable the PHP IMAP extension PHP 5 EN mod space IMAP. Now the module is enabled. Now we need to restart the Apache Web Server service Apache 2 restart. Now the Apache Web Server is restarted. Next we can install the JP Graph, which is the dependency package for the eGroup where here's the link to download the JP Graph. I'm going to download it using the wget command. The downloaded file will be stored in temporary directory. Now give enter. Now the package is getting downloaded. This will take some time. Now the package is downloaded. Now we need to extract the package to the var html directory. Tar insert x f slash tmp slash jp graph space iphone c space var www html give enter now the package is extracted now we need to move the extracted package to jp graph directory move slash var www html jp graph asterisk space var www html slash jp graph and give enter now the files are moved to the JP Craft directory. Next you need to download the eGroupware installation package. Before that, you need to change the directory to var www.html. Now open the web browser. Here's the download link. And copy this link and paste it in the browser. And here's the package. Now select the download package. Now give save file. Now we can see the download has started. This will take some time. Now the package is downloaded. Now we can move the downloaded package to the var html directory. Move slash home user one downloads the downloaded package space var html. Now give enter. Now the file is moved. Now we can extract the package, unzip, package name. Now the package is extracted. Now we can rename the package, move the eGroupware directory name, space eGroupware, okay, give enter. Now the directory is renamed. Now we need to set the ownership for the eGroupware directory, change own, hyphen r, www, hyphen data, colon, space, eGroupware. Now give enter. Now the ownership is changed for the eGroupware directory. Now we need to edit the php.ini file nano slash etc php5 slash apache2 slash php.ini. Now search for the time zone date dot time zone. Now we need to enable this date dot time zone extension and add your time zone here now save the file and exit 
now we need to create the database for the e group where for the login into the mysql server mysql hyphen u root hyphen p now create the database create database the database name that is e group where now the database is created next we can grant the privileges for the database user and set the password for the database user here's the command grant all on database name to the database user at localhost identified by password and give enter now flash the privileges flash privileges and exit now restart the apache web server service apache to restart now the apache web server is restarted now open the web browser and enter your ip address slash e group where now give enter now you can see the e group where installation pages appear now we need to run the installation test and you can continue after the installation test now continue to the header admin and now we need to enter the password for the header and the db password and the configuration user password now we need to view the configuration file and add the configuration to the server go to the terminal and change directory to egroup where now we need to create the file name header dot inc dot php now copy the php configuration and paste it in the configuration file now save the file and exit now in the browser now click continue finish the installation now the egroup where installation is completed and here you can see the for setup you can log in using the user that you have created and if you want to log in into the header admin you can use the header admin login the egrouper is successfully installed in ubuntu thank you for watching